ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರುನೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ಅಶ್ಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ವ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವುನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದೆ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ್ ಶ್ನ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯಪತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವನ್ನ ಭವಿಷ್ಠದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಹೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ಲುಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರುಣ ಅರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖ ಚಂದ ಮನೀಕ್ಷಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಿತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನೇತಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನೇತಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬುಧಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನು ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲು ಬಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾವತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪಂ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚದಸಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನೋಂಗು ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀರ್ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಕಲೋನ್ನ ರಾಜನ್ ಜಗತ್ತಾಂ ಪರಂ ಗುರು 
कलौनराजन जगता परम गुरु त्रिलोकनाथ नतपादपंकज प्रायन मर्ता भगवतमच्युत जक्षति पसंद विभिन्न चेत सा कलो न राजन जगता परम गुरु त्रिलोकनाथ नतपादपंकज प्रायन मर्ता भगवतमच्युत जक्षति पसंद विभिन्न चेत सा गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभात परमंश जगदगुरु टोल्ड दोज वर डिवॉइड ऑफ अनुगत्थ दे आर जस्ट लाइक बीस्ट गौरीय गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभात परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दोज वर डिवॉइड ऑफ अनुगत्थ एक्चुअल अनुगत्व दे आर जस्ट लाइक बीस्ट और मोर देन बीस्ट बिकॉज बॉन्डेड सोल कैन नॉट गेट कंट्रोल ओवर दियर सेंस ऑफ एन एनी हाउ नॉट पॉसिबल बॉन्डेड सोल कैन नेवर गेट कंट्रोल ओवर दियर सेंस ऑफ एन विदाउट सबमिशन अन टू द लोटस पीट ऑफ ए प्योर साधु बाई द पावर ऑफ गुरु बैश दे कैन अदरवाइज नॉट now point is that how i can understand who is going to show 100% submission unto the lotus feet of guru pad padma and who is not how we know who is anugatha who is anugatha and who is not anugatha that is the main question sila popa speaking there is so many symptoms by the help of which you can detect that this the disease there you can understand sila popa speaking there is so many symptoms by the help of which you can realize that who is anugatha and who is not first point is there those who are not actually sincere and anugatha i mean showing submission unto lotus feet of guru patpad they can open an exhibition of guru seva they can open an exhibition of guru seva that they can do but if there is shortage of their personal interest if their personal interest going to be hampered then they close the exhibition that is a man men guru seva those who are Hundred percent inclined and to lotus feet of Guru, Guru, Guru Dev. They have, they have tolerance power. They have hundred percent. They have patience. Because without patience, nobody can serve Guru Vishnu. Second point is that if their personal interest is going to be hampered. then they are going to close the exhibition and they are going to st start competition with gurudev they can start non cooperation fast they can fast start non cooperation with gurudev i cannot do anything you do yourself non cooperation after that when the aparath going to increase more and more first of all non cooperation second when aparad going to increase more and more because ignoring guru vishnu many were you going to going to develop aparad then second you can start competition first non cooperation second competition you can start and finally you going to fight with guru dev confrontation the so non cooperation after that Huh? Non cooperation after that, huh? competition after that, confrontation. This is the status of our guru seva. That's why Prabhupada many times used to say, guru seva is the topmost thing. Of course, pure guru seva. Not that everybody can say you. Would, not that everybody can say you told so guru seva. So I am doing. 
First of all, you will have to understand Sadguru. And you will have to submit unto the lotus feet of that Sadguru who can give you 100-100% benefit. I mean absolute benefit. Otherwise, no. After that, Pope was speaking, all the qualities of Gurudev, all the qualities of Gurudev, all Siddhanta Vichar, all efficacy, everything coming inside the heart of disciple or not, that we'll have to check up. You'll have to check up whether all, because quite natural. In Bhagavatam it is confirmed. The object I am going to serve, quality from that object can come to me. It's quite natural. You can try yourself in your life. You can try. If you are going to serve a very dirty man, characterless, you can see, you can develop that kind of. Because it is, it is confirmed in Shastra that you are going to serve somebody and the qualities of that, you know, object of service can come to you. That's why it is confirmed in Bhagavatam or in Shastra, Chaitanya Charitamitra, Krishna Bhakti, Krishna Gun Sakali Sanchari. In Krishna Bhakta, all the qualities of Krishna is bound to come. But except some special quality, like the, uh, you know, creation power, or rasa leela, these cannot come. And some, I mean, this way, it is confirmed in Chaitanya Charitamita that Krishna Bhakti, Krishna Gun Sakali Sanchari. All the quali good qualities of Krishna is bound to come in you. It's a must. So, what wrong in it? If I speak, Guru Bhakti, Guru Gun Sakali Sanjar. All the qualities of Guru. You can check me. I am the I am the servant of Guru Bhakti or not? Then you can see all the qualities of Guru Padma supposed to come. Supposed to come, here if I am sincere, doing Guru Seva, perfect. Otherwise, no question. Gurudev can go north direction, disciple can go south direction. Some disciple asking Gurudev, Gurudev, uh, I can go to foreign country. Gurudev saying, why? Can you jave? Why? What for? You cannot speak. It's an onnavilas. By the help of Guru Shiva, I can get the facility to enjoy everything. If at all you are interested to prachar, preaching, why not you first preach in front of yourself? Why you are taking trouble to preach other people? Before preaching, you will have to preach in front of yourself first. First of all, you have to preach in front of yourself, that is the first preaching. Charity begins at home. Then after surrounding, situation you have to preach. After that, when your preaching is overflowing, then you can go. Unnecessarily you can take trouble. Not possible. That's why all the qualities of Guru Padma, I mean my object of service, is bound to come. It's a must. In this Kali Khan, the slok I started with, Kalun Rajan Jagatam Param Gurum. How strange! In Kalikal, nobody likes to do actual bhajan. Or at all doing bhajan, but not actual bhajan. They can show you are doing bhajan. Kalun Rajan Jagatam Param Gurum Triloka Natha Natapada Pankajam Jakshanti Pashandi Vivinaj. They are influenced by Kali. They are influenced by Maya. So they don't like to do perfect at all. They are taking the prawn of Vaishnava, this, that, say they can do. But in true sense, they are less interested. They cannot do perfect Haiva. They can. If they are going to follow a pure Guru Vaishnava, then possible. Up to the last moment of your life, Kali, Kali can try to strike. But if Kali watching, he has a tremendous love 
an attraction unto the lotus feet of Guru Path Padma. Then Koli cannot do anything. If Koli watching, that devotee having tremendous love, tremendous attraction, affinity unto the lotus Guru Path Padma, Sadguru, then Koli cannot do anything. Koli is defeated. Koli can get defeated. That's why I told you many times before that Siniba Sachajyo told, Siniba Sachajyo told that until and unless you are going to develop tremendous affinity and love unto the lotus feet of Guru Path Padma, you cannot do. Impossible it is. Siniba Sachajyo speaking. So, to do Hari Bhajan, Guru Seva is a must, Sadguru Seva is a must. And there is different kind of confrontation, because Koli is the age of confrontation, controversy. Koli automatically, now no reason, no reason for why you are fighting with me. A fighting started. Koli is the age of confrontation, Koli is the age of controversy, automatically fighting. Fighting can take place. So there is a divine, you know, panacea medicine that is called Harinam Sankirtan Harikatha. If you are successful to get this kind of medicine, then okay. If you reject from heart, then no solution. Only solution. If you can accept this Harinam Sankirtan Harikatha as a divine panacea of this Kali, then Kali cannot do. Because where is Harikatha Kirtan, what Kali can do? Kali has nothing to do. This way we can. So there is different kind of problem regarding, you know, Siddhanta Bhisha. I was speaking that Srinivas Achajyo, it is a Siddhanta Bhichar of Srinivas. You should remember, this is a Siddhanta Bhichar of Srinivas Achajyo. Balavan Adaru Yasun Sad Guru Padambuje Sutoi Rapita Sasrai Krishna Bhakti Najayat Balavan Adaru Yasun Sad Guru Padambuje So long as you are not going to develop strong, tremendous love unto a lotus feet of Guru, Guru Path Padma. Till then, you can memorize as much Sasra as you can. So many Sasra you can memorize. You can go to Ved, Vedanta, so many things, but Krishna Bhakti Najayati. You cannot get Bhakti until the speed of Krishna. Tremendous love I fear. That's why very, very often, that's why very often Prabhupada used to say, you will have to become Gurudeva Tatma. Gurudeva Tatma means you will have to, you have to reconcile your heart with Guru Padma. You will have to reconcile your heart totally. Reconcile your heart with Guru Path. Harmonize your heart. Totally with Guru What is the desire Guru Path? That is your desire. What is the Siddhanta Vija Guru Path? That is your Siddhanta. If you are staying, if you are staying, suppose 10,000 miles away from Guru Path, it matters little. Like Banu Goswami Maharaj, our Gosai Maharaj is staying there in foreign country, Baba sending them 10,000, 12,000 or 15,000 kilometers away from Prabhupada is there. But they are totally harmonized with Prabhupada. Whatever Siddhanta they like to speak, Prabhupada giving. That is a symptom. Be careful, don't forget. You can find the symptom of a pure devotee Anything you like to speak, Siddhanta Bhicha, that can flourish inside heart. Because Gurudev is sitting, Prabhupada is sitting, they can flourish. But for other, not possible. They can memorize some, they can memorize some philosophy. They can memorize some philosophy, up to that limit they can speak. After that they can speak. So, a reign of Kipa coming on us. Many devotees, they used to put question in front of Guru Path Padma. Why Maharaj, we cannot do bhajan so much, you know, 
you say in Shastra it is written every all sadhu speaking that the dham all kipa everywhere prasadam kipa dhamma kipa ganga kipa and everything all sadhu kipa harikatha kipa harikitan all day and night all kipa are like rain coming but why we cannot make any progress what can be the reason what can be the reason guru padma used to say rain of kipa can be there but there should be one pot to receive that kipa kripa coming but i should have proper pot na to catch kripa and i cannot allow that kripa to to go down by a leak leak you know leakage is suppose this pot i have i am mean, guru maharaj giving kripa here and there is some you know there is some leakage and through that leakage all kripa going on now question is that what is that leakage you can put question what is that leakage what do you mean by leakage leakage means leakage leakage mean your weakness leakage mean your anatha leakage mean some aparat that's what leakage so through leakage you are kripa patra of guru patra do i know you are kripa patra guru patra do i know but through leakage all kripa drop by drop going on and many devotees told me one devotee is now in there he she is not coming to me she is not coming see one day crying and speaking maharaj i lose everything my empty i said why empty why empty after hearing thousands of harikatha you are responsible for that you are running fancifully you are responsible that that's why you are empty empty how you can become empty thousands of harikatha tha siddhant kripa so this is the condition of devotees see after hearing thousands of harikatha now they are empty for was speaking after hearing thousands of harikatha after doing kirtan of kalyan kalpataru saranagati eh after that going to leave everything and gone this is the condition maybe i am not uh, qualified for was speaking after hearing thousands of harikatha and going to understand all secrets siddhant vichar doing so many kirtan in front of me people people going to speak is a ganesh of prabhupad is a intimate parsad of prabhupad but finish so prabhupad speaking all jiva all bonded soul they can reserve the right to fall down prabhupad is all jiva any time they can make some aparad and leave and go away all bonded soul they can reserve the right of fall down any time they can fall any time they can fall down not that they and not that i'm speaking they cannot go up they can go up but they can reserve the right any time they can fall down so everybody must be very careful with humble mood so humble mood that everybody want to kick on my head a still tolerance okay very good you are doing keep up to me this way we have to go on doing your bhajan then and only then you can come out successful so we are not going to play our head over this issue where and how when we are doing some aparad we are doing bhajan okay we are doing some bhajan but at the same time we are doing some aparad so some progress again come down some progress tomorrow again come down again make progress again come down so up and down going on like you know you can remember i told one example there is one competitive examination competitive examination competitive examination one exam you appear and there is 100 questions 100 questions 
each question bearing two marks. Each question bearing two marks. And if you are going to give right answer, you can get two marks. If you are going to give wrong answer, you can minus two, you can get. You can get penalty marks. You can get penalty marks. This way, after the exam is over, you find 50 questions you answer appropriate and 50% question you make wrong. <coughs> so 50% 50 percent, 50, 50, 50, 50 numbers of question you are giving right answer and 50 number of question you are giving wrong answer. So, so each, mark, each, each question bearing two marks, so the 50 multiplied by 2, 100 numbers you got, but minus 100, that means now your position is zero. This is the condition of all devotees. This is the condition of all devotees. Who not? Everybody. Doing some, making some progress and coming. Making some progress coming. This is the condition. And if they are going to make big opera, then fear of zero. Not zero, sub zero level. Sub zero means negative level. You can go. Zero is okay, I can get chance, but zero and negative, they can go down. Those who, are, those who are going to make this kind of opera, for them, Harivajan is really impossible. Different kind of Siddhanta Vichar everywhere, all fighting going on. Like yesterday, I was telling, I was telling about the, about, Prabhupada Saraswati Pad. How it is possible, how it is possible that Prabhupada Saraswati Pad and Prakasananda Saraswati Pad are same? How you can prove? How you can prove? Any way you try. Any way all Acharya, all big, big, they can try any way. But I can prove that they are wrong. Any way. Historical background or any, any other documents. I can cut their Siddhanta and I can know. Because, first of all, I told, in Chaitanya Bhagavad, you can find, Chaitanya Bhagavad, Chaitanya Charitamrita, that Mahaprabhu in Gaur Lila, when not taking sannyas, before taking sannyas, Gaurang Mahaprabhu one day shouting, in Varanasi, that idiot going to teach Vedanta, he is going to break me into pieces. He is not going to believe thy, that my eternal future is there. Mahapu speaking. Bengali. Kashi te padai beta pukasanando sei beta kore mor ango khando khando. Pukasanando in Varanasi is going to explain Vedanta, commentary on Vedanta, Mayavad Bhashya, Saridak Bhashya, Mayavad Bhashya. He is going to break my whole body, transcendental body, chin my. He is going to break. I arrange white leprosy in his body. Mahapu speaking, you can go. Mahapu speaking, I arrange white leprosy, all body, white leprosy. But still he is not going to understand why he is going to this kind of path. So you come on. Long ago, when Mahaprabhu was there in Gaurdham. Then after a long time, Mahaprabhu took decision to take sannyas. Still after, Mahaprabhu went to Nilachal Khetro. Nilachal. After, from, after that, from Nilachal, that was the first trip. That was the first trip for Mahaprabhu. South Indian trip. Mapu went. So Mapu first going to South Indian trip. It took minimum two hours, two years, you can check up. Minimum two hours, two years, Mapu travel. After that, in course of his South Indian tour, he, he was successful to meet with Rai Ramananda. I already told. Rai Ramananda told already. After that, Mapu going more and more, going to meet with Benkat Bhatta, Trimal Bhatta. Come on, this. It is in Sirangam. It is in Mysore. 
Sirangam. They have the meat. So, for, for continuously for four months, try to understand Siddhanta. Four months continuously, that Supreme Lord, He is going to stay with them. Whereas Prabhupada Sarasthiva is writing, even fraction of second darshan of Mahaprabhu, more than sufficient. Patra patro vicharanam na kurute na sa param vikhyate deya deo vavimarthaka na hi na vakalo pratiksha prabhu shaddo savanekshana panamano dhyana dina durlabham datte bhakti rasam sa gaura me gati hi. Fraction of second if you look at Gauranga, you can get bhakti. Whereas it's four months, come on, four months. It takes fraction of second from Mahaprabhu to change the heart of an animal, animal like me. So what problem is? So four months. Within that four months, how you can say they are not going to change their decision? Siddhanta Visha. Because Ramanuja Sampada, okay, I respect also. It's great. But their rasatattva can go up to certain limit. They cannot exceed, they cannot cross that limit. Because it is there is there is Lakshmi Narayan, Lakshmi divine consort, oh, up to that limit. But about Krishna, even about Ram, Rasatattva cannot go up. They have some restriction, na? Under some uncertain restriction that Rasatattva everything can move around, but they can they cannot cross that limit. Cannot cross, but at the eh, but in the case of Bhagavan Sri Krishna, you know, endless rasa, endless rasa can be there. About Krishna, endless rasa, no restriction. So how possible that within four months, Pakasananda, Prabodhananda, Saraswati Pad, I Pakasananda, Prabodhananda, Saraswati Pad. Bengkot Bhatto, Tirimal Bhatto, Gopal Bhatto, Gopal Bhatto Small, Gopal. They are influenced. Mahaprabhu having exchange of view, Ishtagoshi, and Mahaprabhu was successful to change their heart. They wanted to do bhajan of Krishna. And I already told Prabhupada Saraswati Pas is unique in whole Brahmanda, even in heaven. Even in heaven you search, this kind of poet you cannot find. I am not making any false philosophy. What I mean to say that even in heaven, they cannot write this kind of thing. His writing is so high class, so high class, that if somebody is going to put the book this way, Rasa can draw. But yes, but at present it is very difficult for you. At present it is really difficult because you cannot go up to that far. He writing so many things, so high class, that one one line we read and we dance. Because this kind of writing how possible? It is only possible is if Simati Radharani coming or any Sakhi Manjari they can write. Ah, this kind of writing is not possible. This kind of writing, oh, oh, one writing is writing, all writing has some rhythm, rhythm, some, you know, some choiceful word, Sanskrit. Oh, very nice. Like, like just I told, na? Just I, I told one slogan, na? Patra patro vicharanam na kurute na sa param vikshate deya deo vimar saka na hi na va kal kala pratiksha. It's all written by Prabhupada. Kaivalla narakayate tizat tidasa pura kasabas payate duddantendriya kala sarpa patali pratkatavin dangstayate vidim mahindadisya kitayate vishampurna sakhayate yat korona kataksha vaiva vatam tam gaura me vastam. All it is like him. Who can write? This kind of rhythm, this kind of chanda, sweetness, who can write? So practical, as if. As if he is watching inside Vrindavan and whatever Leila, Radha, Govinda bring, is watching and writing. Appropriate, exactly. 
exactly, but he is watching, he is writing. Impossible. So now point is that, it is quite natural, it is quite natural that they can change their heart. Because four months Mahaprabhu there, taking their prasadam, staying there, so many seva. So, Prabhupada Saraswati Path, who was originally Sri Sampadai Sanyasi. Prabhupada is name is Sanyasi. Anyway. But when Mahaprabhu left the room, that time all they break down and, and uh, every day they fall down on the ground. Feel unconscious. When Mahaprabhu going away from room and their home, I am going, four months is over, they just, you know, lose their conscience, they fall down on the ground. They are all crying heavily. Prabhu gone mean everything. We are blind. But before going, Mahaprabhu told, you can send the small boy, now wet, now wet. After he get maturity, you can send this boy to Vrindavan. Mahaprabhu giving instruction. And about Prabhupada Saraswati Bhat is quite natural. When Mahaprabhu gone, he also took decision to come to Vrindavan and in last moment of his life he was there in Kamban. That place is there. Kamban is doing bhajan. At the bank of Bhimalakun is writing so many things. Now my question is there. First of all, I can solve this problem because this kind of fighting going on. So Mahaprabhu after taking sannyas, Mahaprabhu after taking sannyas went to where? Where? South India. Not North India. After coming back from after coming back from South India, after a long time, Mahaprabhu took decision to go to Vrindavan. Come on, you try to understand. Mahaprabhu took decision to go to Vrindavan. Then devotees they are not allowing him because if gone, then they cannot live. So they are making some joking, I mean some trick so that Prabhu cannot go. Now it is too much beat, beating cold, cannot go after we do. After that, now actually a color festival come, you stay here. After that you can go. After that, Mahaprabhu, and now, you, now it's too hot. And Rathayatra come, you cannot see. Rathayatra, well, I can see. This way they are playing trick. Uh, finally Mahaprabhu took decision to go. I can go anyway, Gubindavan. So Mahaprabhu started from Vrindavan. First trip, when first Mahaprabhu tried to go to Vrindavan, that was not failure. I cannot see this way. Purposely Mahaprabhu went to up to Ramkeligam to deliver Rup Sanatan everybody. I cannot say Mahaprabhu was failure. <laughs> Impossible. How I can say? He's Supreme Lord. Mahaprabhu can never become failure. Mahaprabhu speaking out of humbleness. I wanted to go to Vrindavan. I give pain to Gadadhar. See, he become very you know, upset, so I cannot go. Mahaprabhu speaking out of his humbleness. I wanted to go to Vrindavan, but in the way of my Vrindavan trip, I, you know, Gadadhar was feeling pain inside her. That is one kind of impediment for me. So I couldn't go to Vrindavan. I come back. Out of humbleness, Mahaprabhu speaking. But actually, not there. But after that, when Mahaprabhu took decision for confirm, Mahaprabhu discussed with two or three devotees, Sarvabhumo, this, that, not speaking to anybody. Otherwise, they can run behind Mahaprabhu. Very early in the morning, Mahaprabhu get out of room, all ready. And Mahaprabhu ready, no luggage. Only one water pot and mala. This is luggage. We have so many luggage, garment, this, that, oh. <laughs> But Mahaprabhu has nothing. And those pure devotees, they have no garment. <laughs> what garment they can do? Useless. So this way, Mahaprabhu with water, water pot and mala started for. Morning time, the devotees, where Prabhu gone? Where Prabhu gone? We cannot see. Prabhu gone. Nobody can trace out. Prabhu walking long, one one leg. If we. <laughs> Our ten footstep, Prabhu one footstep. Mahaprabhu gone. Through forest. Because otherwise main road, maybe they can go and chase Prabhu. So Mahaprabhu very clever, going to take a very such a road, nobody can go. 
Mahapu going. Three forests where elephant, where tiger, where you know, lion, everybody. So Mahapu going. Because inside the heart of lion, eh, Mahapu was sitting. In the, inside the heart of tiger, Mahapu was sitting. Inside the heart of snack, Mahapu was sitting. All were not. Omnipresent. Everywhere Mahapu was sitting. So no problem. This way Mahapu has gone. Now my point is that. When Mahaprabhu ultimately going to reach Baranasi, ultimately Mahaprabhu going, going to Baranasi. In Baranasi, Chandrasekhar Asajjo and Tapan Misro, both of them, they are devotee, great devotee, Parshat of Mahaprabhu, they are going to serve Mahaprabhu because in dream they saw Mahaprabhu coming. In dream they saw just you know, they are sleeping now, morning time, they break the sleep, they say Mahaprabhu coming. So Chandrasekhar Raja Jo and Tapan Miso, they are coming outside city and waiting, Prabhu can come. Really so, Prabhu coming. They are speaking, Prabhu, in dream you came today morning time and you are coming here in Baranasi, so I come, so we come out of the city and waiting for your coming. So they take them. Now my point is that in Baranasi, I am not going into details because this is not my subject matter. So in Baranasi, when finally Mahaprabhu, because one pure Brahman, he wanted to invite Mahaprabhu in a big function. There was some reason. Because that Brahman was very sorry because whenever that Brahman going to speak the topics of Gauranga, I mean, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to Mayavadi, they are joking with him. That Brahman, sometime going to speak to them, one big sannyasi, so nice, coming here in Varanasi, he is dancing. Don't go there. He is a cheater. Don't go there. Dancing, singing is not the duty of a sannyasi. Be careful, don't go there. He knows some black magic. Don't go there. He becomes sorry. That sannyasi, uh, Prabhupada Pukasananda is going to speak. Don't go there. You know some black magic I heard also. Uh, and Sarvam Vartaja Jaya also gone to hell by his association. This is speaking. And not speaking the full name. I know Chaitanya, I know his name is Chaitanya, I know his name. He was very sorry. He coming back to Prabhu. Prabhu. I wanted to speak some topics about you to them, and they are uh, criticizing about you. And even they cannot speak that full name. They are not speaking Sikhishna Chaitanya. They are speaking Chaitanya, Chaitanya. Why, why so? Prabhu speaking, Mayavadi is the offender. Mayavadi doing aparad unto a lotus feet of Bhagavan Sikhishna. That's why Krishna Nam they cannot speak. They are Chaitanya, they can. They can speak up to Chaitanya. Anyway. That Brahman someday with some mood, approved by, of course, internally approved by Mahaprabhu. He is going to invite Mahaprabhu. He is going to invite Mahaprabhu and speaking, I know, you are not going, you are never going to any assembly. But if you, out of your causeless mercy, going to accept, going to accept this kind of invitation, because I call, I invite all sannyasis. Mahaprabhu smiling. Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu thinking this is an opportunity. Because usually Mahaprabhu is not going here. But it purposely Mahaprabhu is going to accept this invitation. So that all Mayavadi at a time they can come and Mahaprabhu can go and change them. Mahaprabhu's calculation. Mahaprabhu took decision. So when Mahaprabhu is going to enter the assembly, all Mayavadi with one egg danda, this they are sitting big. Mayavadi. Mahaprabhu straightway going to enter the enter that area and going to wash leg in the trap there and trap and going to sit there. Then all said, why you are sitting in the dirty place? Come here, come here. Oh, actually I am dirty man. I am fallen soul. You are high actually, Vedanti. That's why I'm sorry. No, 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 no. You come here. Then that Pokasanando, you see, with the Guru of 10,000 Mayavadi Shishya, disciple. He is going to catch the hand of Mahaprabhu. 
No, 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 no. You come here. Why you are going to sit there in dirty place? Eh? No, no, no. You come. Then, Pokasananda Saraswati started speaking. You look like Narayan. Your hand, leg, everything, it looks like unique. I wonder how, one question I have, why you are, you are our Sampradayak Sanyasi? Because we are Mayavadi, you are also Mayavadi. <laughs> Pukasana was speaking, because Mahaprabhu taking one danda, na, one danda. So they thought Mahaprabhu is in our category. They have no problem. They are going to speak, well, you are our own Sampradaya Sanyasi. You are Mayavadi, we are Mayavadi. But why you are not kind to join us to discuss Vedanta, this, that? Why you are, why you are dancing? Dancing and seeking. Then Mahaprabhu started speaking in a very humble way. I told now Digvijay Pandit, always Mahaprabhu approaching in such a way so that the man going to realize I am wrong but still not going to feel any pain. He's going to think I am wrong, totally wrong, like in Urupi. I can give countless examples. In Urupi also, with Sarvamum also, so many examples I can give. The approach of Mahaprabhu is such a scientific that nobody, they know we are defeated. Sarvam Vatajajo. Sarvam Vatajajo ultimately discover I am defeated. But still, Sarvam Vatajajo feeling enjoyment. Ah, very nice. This is the procedure of Mahaprabhu. This is the one. So, Mahaprabhu, when they are going to put question, well, you are from our own Sampradayak Sannyasi. Very good. You can come and why not you come in to discuss Vedanta with us? Then Mahaprabhu. Actually, I am not learned man. I am foolish. So I have no right in Vedanta. My Guru Padma told, my Guru Padma told, you are foolish number one. You have no right in Vedanta. Only I am going to give you some mantra. You do job and kirtan. This humble way. Guru more, eh? Murkho deki korila sasan. Guru wanted to give me some instruction. You are foolish. You have no right in Vedanta. So better you can do Kirtana, you can do it. So I am doing. Prakasananda Saraswati was stunned to hear, really. Then after that, they started discussing some point with Mahaprabhu. They wanted to establish the impersonal Brahma. It is their, it is their Siddhanta, na? Mahaprabhu, you know, going to defend. Prakasananda going to establish uh, impersonalism and Mahaprabhu going to defend. One by one, Mahaprabhu cut Siddhanta. Finally, they totally defeated. They totally defeated, they can realize we are defeated. After that, they started speaking, I mean Prakasananda, whatever you speak is right. Prakasananda himself speaking, whatever you speak, Siddhanta is right, but what to do? We are from Sankar Sampradaya and Sankar, uh, Sankara Jajjo going to decide this way all Siddhanta. So, yeah. So, in one sense, he is totally defeated and he was converted into Vaishnav Diksha. Mani, they change. Even Prakasananda, all 10,000 disciples, they started just dancing with Mahaprabhu. What a miracle. What a miracle. Mahaprabhu, within a short period of time, was successful to change the, all the heart of Bindu Madhav. One div I've been there long ago, maybe 20 years back. Bindu Madhav, there is one place, there all Mayavadi, they are dancing and sing like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Now my, I can come to the point that if that Prabodhananda is same Prakasananda, now my question is that, who is already, he is already Vaishnava Sannasi. Prabodhananda was also already Vaishnava Sannasi, he was not Mayavadi. And only he wanted to change his track of rasa. He was already Vaishnava, na? great Vaishnava, a very powerful. Only he was bound to change his, in a test, 
by the association of Mahaprabhu. He gone to, he gone to Vrindavan, Kamban, there is doing bhajan. So you can calculate the time when Mahaprabhu went to, you can calculate the time when Mahaprabhu went to Dakshin Bharat. For so, Prabhupada Saraswati is going to Vrindavan and in Kamban, up to the last moment of his life, he is doing bhajan. If somebody already converted, like regarding Rasa they are already Vaishnava. So, how possible that a great Vaishnava coming to Varanasi, I can take in sannyas, in Mayavad sannyas? Is absurd, no? Oh, you don't know. That sannyas is already Vaishnava. How it is possible that he can come back, come to Varanasi and take Mayavad sannyas? Why? Why? He was Vaishnava already. He was Vaishnava sannyas, he was very powerful. Only Rasat, he changes Rasa Tattva. Regarding Rasa, feeling of Rasa was changed. That much. So how possible that Vaishnava Sannasi coming whereas long ago, South India. And North Indian tour, Mahaprabhu took much later. How possible he can come, he is not crazy, so that he can come in Varanasi and take you know, Mayavad Sannyas with a dirty sannyas. No test, no. Mayavadi sannyas, what test you can get? Brahma, Maya, Jiva, is what test you can get? So he is not crazy that Prakasanand Prabhupada Sarasabha can come and he is not uh, you know, gone mad. Eh? He can take Mayavad sannyas, crazy, foolish Siddhanta. And how possible, again Mahaprabhu is going to convert him. Are? Again it is written, no? even he is converted. Are? Anyway, historical evidence or Siddhanta, anyway, you cannot match, you cannot prove it. So anyway, Prabhupada told, 100 percent is is perfect, that Prakasanandu and Prabhupada are not the same man. I already wrote different argument, after that finally I give the article of Prabhupada, finally, as an appendix. So that book in Bengali. Someday it can be converted into English. So oh, people are less interested to read books. They are busy with mobile. These are they are very useful. Fine, feeling comfortable. Why? Who can play head so much? So much headache. So, Pavadhanu Saraswati Bhat first gone went to Vrindavan, Kamban, doing bhajan, and Gopal Vatta took all education, all education. I mean all teachings from. Finally, that small boy grown up. Finally, he gone to Vrindavan. He went to Vrindavan and took dishish, took diksha from Prabodhanu Sarasriva. The guru of Gopal Vatto is Prabodhanu Sarasriva. And after taking diksha, Gopal Vatto Goswami sometimes used to stay with Guru Dev, and sometimes in Vrindavan also, because there is also attraction. Rup Sanatan na. Rup Sanatan de. Rup Goswami in Madan Mohan Gheda and uh, uh, Rup Goswami in, 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 in uh, Radha Damodar area there and uh, Radha Raman not so far, very near. Doing so they can meet each other, consult about how to discover different places of Leela of Gauranga. I am in Krishna, this way they are trying their best, consulting different sastra, they are trying. whole day and night they are doing. So, that was a big attraction for Gopal Bhattu Goswami. Because Sanatan, Sanatan Goswami, Rup Goswami developed such a, such a loveful relation with Gopal Bhattu that they cannot leave each other. So deep relation. So deep relation that he, they cannot leave each other. Always they are staying together. Sometime our Sanatana Goswami is going to meet, sometime he is going to meet, they are mutually doing. Now I, I like to come to the point how Radha Ramana Vigraha was you know, discovered. That's why big history, I like to touch only some important points. 
So Gopal Vattu Goswami used to do in Radharaman Gera, used to do bhajan, but not inside. At present you are going inside, na? At present you are going inside, very inside Radharaman temple. But in the beginning, Gopal Vattu Goswami used to, that temple was, you know, constructed after. But Gopal Vattu Goswami used to do bhajan just gateway. One broken place you can see, that discovered the, the place where the place where Radharaman appeared, Radharaman Ji. That place you can in the entrance. If you don't know, you cannot go because the main gate can go direct. But main gate, if you enter here or another gate is there, just sight. If somebody have knowledge, they can go there. Follow what I say. So Gopal Bhattu Goswami was there doing bhajan. He was doing bhajan of salagram. He collected some salagram by the desire of Bhagavan from Gandoki. And he is doing worship of salagram. Very nice, nice. Big, big salagram. He has no deity. When? Because in his kinchan, no temple, nothing. Where to? So, he, in the night time, one basket, you know, basket, you know, basket, basket is going to put one basket on Salagram, night time, during sleeping time, because no place where to keep. No money, na, very, very in skin chan. So he used to put one basket on Salagram, I mean 10 or 12 Salagram, I forget, put a night time sleep. He's sleeping here, and morning time doing Arati, doing so, Seva, Tulusi, pan, water, everything doing. One day, one very rich man, one day one very rich man, he wanted to distribute all ornament, garment, everything, to all deities. All deities mean that time, uh, gradually all different deities are going to be discovered. Not at a time, gradually. I told you, na, Madan Mohan, uh, Govindaji, Ma Madhupandi discovered, uh, Gopinath, all long history, this way. After that, Banki Bihari was discovered by Haridas Thakur. I can speak this point tomorrow, maybe. So, this way, one rich man going to distribute all different ornaments and, you know, and a crown and all garments, everything, to all deities, temple to temple. Now, actually, Gopal Varta Goswami thinking, I have no deity. I have no deity, how I can put garment and, you know, ornament, I cannot do. Because Salagram, how I can do? No hand, no. The Salagram is Bhagavan, but I know, no scope. No scope that I can serve Salagram, no scope that I can serve Salagram with crown, this, that, garment, no ornament. With this mood, he is sleeping in the night time. Night time sleeping with this pain, that if I could get one, uh, I know, Bigra, then I could serve, but no. Anyway, leave it, he is going to sleep. And overnight, what happened? Morning time, when Gopal Bhattu Goswami took bath, everything, going to do Arati, going to open the, you know, this basket, he discovered his Salagram, uh, his Radha Raman. Oh, how? Where Salagram gone? He discovered Radharaman and Salgram all vanished. He is thinking, where is Salgram gone? Twelfth Salgram was there, but no Salgram, nothing. Where from this deity coming? He is watching. Very loveful appearance. He wanted to take and kiss. So sweet looking. Radharaman. Where you put? There is Radharaman. There is Radharaman. There is Radharaman. Very sweet. He took in lap and started crying. So nice looking, oh, 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 ultimately discover that backside of that deity, I mean the backside, this deity, backside of deity, the marking of Salagram. Backside deity, he discovered the marking of Salagram. I mean, Bhagavan appeared from Salagram. All, sal all Salagram submerge and after that, still today, Still today, if some panda is going to show you, they cannot show you, but if you are lucky, 
You can see backside of Radharaman, there is a marking of Salagraham. I mean, it is the evidence that Bhagavan and uh, Radharaman appeared from, from this was discovered from Salagraham. This message, this message break out everywhere in Vrindavan. Rup Sanatan in the morning times getting message and running, running. Oh, going to embrace, you know, Gopal Bhatto, you are so lucky, so nice. Ah. Radharaman is so sweet that anybody going to look is bound to embrace. So sweet looking. So, by the desire of Gopal Bhatto Goswami, somebody is speaking his Ragmanjari, somebody is speaking, you know, Gunamanjari, somebody is speaking this way. Anyway, so the eternal parsat of Radha Govindaji, I mean, uh, and at the same time is the eternal parsat of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. This is the benefit of Gauriya devotee. If they are going to, if they are, if they are going to get success in their bhajan, they can place, they can get place both in Vrindavan and Gaurdhan. This is the extra facility for Gauriya devotees. If they are going to come out successful in bhajan, they can get eternal place both in Vrindavan and Gaurdham. Both they can get. Only Gauriya devotee they can. So this way, Sri Radharaman devotee was Radharaman Abharam, Radharaman ji was discovered. It was maybe the time uh, the month of Baishak, I think so. Because they arranged one Ratha, Ratha, I mean the travelling of Radharaman. They arrange. Anyway, after that, the big temple was erected inside temple. There, Radharaman went there. And then from then onward, they are serving Radharaman the best possible way. Goswami is there. And time to time, there is different kind of festival. Many times, now I have no time. Previously, I used to attend that festival time to time. In at the Baisak, uh, you know, as a mind month of Baisak, there is big big man coming. They are arranging a flower festival. Flower, they are getting flower of thousands of rupees, maybe one lakh, two lakhs. Going to decorate room. They are serving Radharaman, and that time, if you see the picture of Radharaman, you can go mad. You cannot go back to home to your country. <laughs> it's impossible. You can help them. They can go and see. can go mad. I cannot move. I used to, you know, sit there in Radharaman temple hours after hours, doing Harinam, closing eyes, looking, and some devotees singing nice kirtan. They're doing, I'm hearing, because I'm fond of song. I'm fond of song. I, I like to song and I like song. So I used to hear and do kirtan for a long time. So Radharaman is unique, you see. Unique. So if you can go and see, take darshan of Radharaman in Vrindavan, I think it's a, it's a great benefit you can get. You cannot just forget. And you can carry one picture of Radharaman to your country. Each one of you. Govindo, Gopinath, Madan Mohan, Radha Raman, you can go and look every day. Every day you can look, morning time you can get up and look the face of Radha Raman, you see Radha Raman, so nice. So this way Radha Raman was discovered and onward I can speak something about uh, Gopal Bhattu Goswami, how there our, uh, our Srinivas Acharya took Diksha from the lotus feet of, I can discuss some point, after that I can go to, you know, discuss about how this, you know, uh, Banki Bihari discovered, or I can go on discussing this way. So today, actually time cannot permit, so I want to stop here. And I can discuss this sloka also someday. Kalun Rajan Jagatam Param Gurum Tilokunatha Natopad Pankajam Prayena Martha Bhagavantam Achutam 
Jakshanti Pasanda Vibhinna Chetasa. Vancha Kalpatur Sikha Pasindhi Vaishnava. Patitanang Pavana Vaishnava. 